Hey guys, I'm Pandet. I'm here to teach you about spell casting. So, the first thing you need to know if you're doing some spell casting is that you can set your wand um, range with flex. So, I usually keep it around 12. Um, as you can see, I did the command slash flex 12. But, um, depending on your preference, you can make it bigger or smaller. There's obviously a limit. Um, so, anyway, um, when you're casting, you have to raise your wand in order to start casting. So you raise your wand with left click. You can also lower your wand with left click. Raise, lower, raise, lower. Um, and then to change your wand movements, you have to go right click to change the wand movements. So swish, 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 jab, jab, jab. Jab being moving in the same location as where you already were, and right being moving from wherever you used to be. So, obviously that's not a spell. Um, so for example, to cast a really basic spell, which is um, just curriculum, I'm going to have to type the, the word in chat, and I need to jab with my wand. Um, so to jab, you just click in the same location as where you raised your wand, and then it doesn't matter where you lower your wand at, just as long as you've already got all the movements you want in. Um, so if I want to swish in a direction, instead of doing the same location, I raise my wand, and I swish down for Lumos, and then I have cast Lumos. And then the same for Nox. Um, anyway. Um, you gain experience every now and then instead of just constantly. That's um, so that you don't have to spell spam in order to gain experience. Um, so that's basically really all there is to casting. It's really kind of a get used to it type thing. Um, there's like, depending on what your flex level is, is degrees in a circle, um, if you want to get really mathematical. So for example, there's 360 degrees in a circle, so if my flex is 12, if I move about 12 out and less than 24 out, I should be moving towards a direction um, instead of being a jab. Um, it's not exactly that, but that's approximately what it is. So if you get too small, obviously movements are going to be more difficult. And too big means you're going to have to be like, whoosh, 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 like that. So you don't want to be too big or too small, um, but you can pick your own preference.